welcome. We're here, we're gonna do some field testing of between what, eight to 10 different masks? Mm -hmm. And we're gonna rate them on many different things. And right. what our goal is to try to find ones that will work best when we go on our trip to Florida in August. So how we're gonna rate them is by material, breathability, cost, and style. So why don't we just get right into it and we'll show you each one and we'll go from there. So the first mask we're gonna talk about is from Lost Princess Apparel. They make uh, like leggings and different Disney stuff, but they uh, started making masks. And this is the Haunted Mansion um, wallpaper print. And it's two layers of cotton. There's one layer, you can see my makeup came off on, and then the other layer. And then it also has adjustable straps. And it does have a metal little nose piece there. So these were 16.50 for one mask three for 27 and they also sell filters too and those were 10 pack for $12. This is a, this is a washable cotton. This it has a pocket for a filter but I don't see one on this one. It's on the side. Other side. So, oh no it's uh, right there. here. There it is. That's the pocket for the filter. This one I really like the style of it because I, I love Haunted Mansion. I love the look of it. And I also love the feel of it because I believe this is kind of like legging material on the outside. So it's kind of smooth and, and silky, but also I think it would repel water a little bit better than the cotton. But in the inside, it's cotton. So it's more comfortable on your face. And I like how you can adjust the ears. It's, very, it's a very comfortable mask. And it also has a little bar here so you can form it onto your nose so you have a better fit. This still fogs up my glasses a little bit too as well but I like this for the breathability factor and the Hunted Mansion look. So now we're going to try this disposable surgical mask. Um, I don't think there's much to really say about it. Just know it's kind of disposable, lightweight, and kind of made of paper. So this is the disposable mask and I'll say it feels great. I'm not breathing heavy at all. Um, it's comfortable, it's not too tight on the ears. So I think this one would work, definitely, in that Florida heat and humidity. Uh, but I do worry about that it, if it gets wet, now this mask is no longer needed. And they are disposable, so I, you know, I can't wash it out, I can't let it dry, or anything. That I would need a lot of these for a long stay in Florida. Probably not something I want to do, but it might be good to have just in case you needed to take a break to have something a little lighter because I'm breathing just fine and it's also not fogging up my glasses which is a good thing because um, I don't know what I would do if I couldn't wear my sunglasses in Florida so definitely one of the ones I would consider if you're having trouble breathing but need to cover your face this mask here is from Victoria's Secret they actually sent me this for free it's a um, black mask and it also has adjustable ears and weird kind of material inside. So I have a list of what the material is. It has, and it has a wire insert on the nose as well. Elastic, elastic straps, breathable lightweight fabric, no filter, and adjustment around the ears. And this is $9.50 if you bought it, but they sent me this for free. So this is the Victoria's Secret mask. This one, I don't know, I think it's not as breathable as the other one. It's like a weird material inside. I feel like I have trouble breathing in and out. Like it doesn't let the air go out. It can trap it in the mask. I do like the adjustable um, ears, but it seems a little tight. I might have to adjust it to loosen it. And it fits good around the nose. It fits well, but this one, I don't think I would bring to Florida because it's black and the breathability factor is not there. This would probably just be grocery store run or just quick in the AC, but not into the parks. Not comfortable at all. Another option for a face covering is we have this Arctic Cove mask that you can put over your head. So I know you typically would wet this, put it around your neck, maybe part of your face to kind of cool you off. Um, so yes, this would handle the sweat. You could get wet and you'll be fine. It'll probably keep you nice and cool. Um, it's flexible, um, but I'd be a little worried about what kind of protection you get from this because it is kind of thin 
well, it's not kind of, it is thin, but it is stretchy. Um, and I don't know if this would stay on your head while you're going on rides. Just, there's nothing really holding this in place but your head. All right, I kind of like this one. It's breathable. I can, I'm can. i getting some fresh air. I, I can kind of feel it. It doesn't really feel hot at all. It is a little tight, but I still think it's comfortable. I don't care about the tightness. I'm worried about that it's being thin because um, this one's this one we were trying is ones that we had to keep you cool. You would get it wet just to keep you cool. Um, so I'm maybe looking to see what other types out there like this. Um, but what I really like about this is if you're going on roller coasters or wild rides, you're not going to lose this mask because it's just if it falls down, it's just going to fall down your neck. It's not going to go over your head. And if you're going on a water ride and you have to wear a mask, this hair can get wet and it should dry. Um, I don't know how qu quick it'll dry, but it, typically these do dry quickly in the heat. So I, I think this is really one to consider. It's not going to be one of the top ones we try or bring, but it might be a good backup. Uh, might be better than the paper ones. This next mask is from Vera Bradley. So this one we ordered online on the Vera Bradley website. These were $8, I believe, and they're lightweight cotton. And then two layers, and they also have a po uh, pocket for a filter. These are not adjustable, and these do run sort of big, because I got one for my daughter, and it's really big on her. So this one is a little big on me, like on the ears part, because it's not adjustable. But, I, but it's a little loose on the bottom, too, so I get a lot of air in, which I like. But I don't know for protection wise if it's good but it's comfortable and I can breathe good in it and it, fit, it fits well on my face it just needs to be a little bit tighter around the ears and I think it would be okay to wear at the park all day it seems comfortable enough I think it would be good until it got too sweaty and wet and then I'd have to change it this next mask is from fanatics it's got the Celtic logo on it so a lot of the sports teams have been coming up with their own masks um, it's 100 percent cotton and what I liked about purchasing this mask is that proceeds went to Feed in America and Second Harvest so buying the mask proceeds also went to a special cause um, it is very thick this seems like it's similar material to what you would see on Spreadshirt as well so it might be a good comparison all right so I've been wearing this mask a lot as I go into the stores like Starbucks and the grocery store and the one thing I don't like about it is that it is, feels really thick and heavy. And I, I just don't think it's gonna work out well in the Florida heat and humidity. Uh, so that's one thing. Plus, it seems like that when you do sweat and it gets uh, nice and wet, it starts getting kind of uncomfortable. I mean, it fits really nice. Um, I do, the other thing I don't like is it does fog up my glasses quite a bit, but down here, Depending upon how I move and stuff, it does come off the chin a lot, and I'm always finding that I'm changing, you know, fixing where it needs to go, making all these adjustments. And that's something I want to do if I'm wearing a mask. So this one's not too heavy just for those reasons. I think it's going to be really tough having this on in the Florida heat. So this next mask we're going to talk about is from Etsy, from Paige and Tom, and it's 100% cotton and it has a pocket for a filter and there's actually a filter in there you can see and these ones were $13 and they're not adjustable so this one here is it's comfortable I feel like I have a lot of protection it feels really thick though so it's hard to breathe you get really hot breathing this mask um, this one is I use this one mostly for grocery shopping because it's well protected but I think in the parks, I think being so thick, it'd be hard to breathe after a while, after a short time. Because I'm having a hard time breathing now and it's not even that hot out here. So I think in the Florida heat, it'd be too much. Especially if it got really wet. I think this one, because it's thick, wouldn't dry. And would be very uncomfortable after a while. This next mask is from Birdwell Beach Bridges. And I found this online for $19.95. It's actually made out of swimsuit material, so what you get with your swimming trunks. 
so it's kind of really lightweight. Um, you do have adjustable strings, so you can either set it up to go behind your ears or behind your head, and you have this little adjustable here that you can adjust, and that's what you can use to have it go through. Um, there is no filter for this, um, and it is reversible. Um, so that's kind of cool. You can have a nice, cool design like that, or you can have it blue. So I have to say, this is my favorite mask. It's very comfortable. I like the material, you know, it feels like it's gonna dry really quick knowing that it's made out of the swim truck material. It does feel like it gets a little hot underneath here. But I also like the adjustability, being able to wear it behind the ears, behind the uh, head, and being able to have the clips to kind of make those adjustments that you might need as you're using this throughout the day. My glasses do get a little fucked up by this, but not, it's not too bad compared to a lot of the other ones I've used. So that's kind of important. Um, right now I do have it a little tight, so you can probably see that as I'm breathing in, it's going in and out quite a bit. Um, but then I can just do this, loosen it up a little, and still get that protection I need. And it fits right underneath my nose there, right where my glasses are, which is nice. So, this is one of the ones I do kind of enjoy and um, probably be using more of. This next mask we're going to show you is from Etsy, and it's from Aria's Cute Creations. And this was $14.99. It's three-layer washable mask, and it has a pocket on the side for the filter. And it, does, and it also has the adjustable ears with a little bead there. So this one here I feel is really comfortable because it feels lightweight and um, I can adjust it to the ears to make it fit just right. I don't have it too tight right now but I think in the parks I probably have it a little bit tighter because it's sliding down my nose a bit and it does this one also fogs up my glasses as well. But the only thing with this one it's a lighter fabric and when I breathe in it kind of sucks into my mouth so that could be irritating after a while but otherwise I think this one would do good in the parks again until it got a little sweaty and then I'd have to change it so this mask here I found on amazon.com it's more of like a cycling workout mask you can see here we got a couple of valves there and you do have a nose piece there to help you keep it in place and it has a built-in filter right there so that kind of helps it keeps things out and what I also like about it is it's breathability looks good because you can kind of see through the mask right here but here it's all got the filter just that blocks everything it can go over the ears uh, I think it actually does go over the ears but it also goes around your head it has this nice velcro piece here so from what I read this one might be good to have if you're working out a lot just because you're able to breathe so this one was $23.95 and again we found it on amazon.com this is the PVC memory nose pad right there um, and the double ear breathing valve and when I ordered this I did get some replacements of these along with the filters so this mask has it's kind of comfortable it's a little weird having the strap in the back so if I kind of lift my head up like that I'll, it kind of gets little tighter and you can feel that but I'm sure you can get used to that uh, it is comfortable on the face part I do like the nose guard the one other thing to know about this mask is it does not fog up your glasses so as I'm walking even though I'm breathing a little heavy because you do have the mask on with the filter my glasses are not fogging up um, and I can breathe a lot easier than a lot of the other masks I've tried and I think that has to do with the valves itself um, I just don't know how sweaty it's going to get as you're outside in the hot heat all the time. But I'm hoping with the material it just dries off pretty quickly. Um, but this, I think this could really help. And I think it has a lot to do with having the valves itself. And not, you know, relying on your ears and having to go behind your head. Just takes time to get used to. But I think that is a nice touch to this mask. Some other things to consider to make yourself more comfortable wearing the mask all day 
is one thing it would be chapstick because chapstick you know keep your lips moist because we're in the masculine day you're going to get dry another thing is to keep you cool is a fan personal fan to cool you off while you were in the mask all day this will help you be a little bit more comfortable and I know what I said about the Vera Bradley mask it was too loose consider barrettes like these little clips to clip them into your hair to make it tighter and then it's not on your ears as well so it will help you be more comfortable and also if you have long hair you could put your hair in a ponytail, which is gonna keep you cooler with the mask on. And you can also put the straps around the ponytail so they so it makes it tighter as well. And what else I purchased, because my sunglasses were getting fogged up. This is anti-fog uh, liquid that you put on your glasses and it will keep it from fogging up. It did work, it didn't fog up. I think you might have to reapply it if, it, if the glasses get wet but it did work. And also, I want to just show you the different kinds of filters you can put inside your mask. So this is the PM 2.5. We've got this one to put in most of the mask. This is the one that goes in Ron's black mask. You can also use coffee filters and you can also use shop towels, the blue shop towels to put inside the mask as filters. And also one little trick, because you're gonna to have to wash your masks in the hotel room, you might consider bringing clothespins to hang them up so they're not falling all over the place. You can hang them in the shower by the clothespins and they will dry quicker. Okay, so we each picked three masks that we're definitely gonna bring with us on our trip. And I think they're the three that we find the most comfortable. Mm -hmm. Uh, you want to go first or you want me? Yep, I can go first. I've got this one, the Vera Bradley one. I really like that one. This one from Etsy. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say I agree with you on the Etsy one. Yep. Uh, my same sort of setup as Meredith's, yep, just a stitched. different design. Yep. It's got Troublemaker Stitch. And also Lost Princess Apparel. So besides the Etsy one, I'm going to go with the Birdwell. Um, I think it's comfortable and it'll dry off quickly to stay swimsuit material mm -hmm. um, and I'm gonna go with this this one here I'm hoping it doesn't get too hot because it's black but by having the valves I felt like I could breathe easier mm -hmm. now we didn't include the surgical mask our feelings are those are probably the best to breathe in but I think durability and all that other stuff right. I wouldn't put it in my top three but I think our plan is we're gonna bring a lot of boxes down with us and if someone the kids or us gets a little uncomfortable with one of these masks and we need a break from it we'll just replace it with the surgical mask yeah because i think you're going to get sweaty and you know wet and you want to change them frequently and and wash them so yeah so that's our top three so we hope you found this video informative yeah and for a lot of the mask in the description we'll leave the links to where you can find these and we're going to put them in chronological order of top to bottom being best first uh, ones that we didn't really enjoy or find that we'd want to use down below and also down below if you have questions about these masks that we found our thoughts on them or if you have any ideas of better masks that will work in that Florida uh, heat we'd like we want to know that as well yeah so make sure you like subscribe and share this with all your friends yeah. so until next time thanks for watching bye, bye.